let's talk about design ideas for the prototype that you're going to make. I've shown you a whole bunch of different design concepts throughout these tutorials, such as destroying objects, pushing them around, color changing, triggering events, having lights turn on and off, having things rotate and move based off of collisions, having the player have to dodge out of the way of different things that are automatically moving, a whole variety of things that you can integrate in lots of different settings and styles. I will be providing you with a project uh, reference in GitHub that has kind of a rudimentary version of what we went through the tutorials, as well as a few other sample scenes for you to explore if you're interested, or you can just watch this little preview in this video to get a sense of a few concept ideas. One of the goals I have in this course is to provide you with foundational knowledge and understanding of tools and strategies that you can use to create games and not to solve the problem of the creating the game for you. That's where you as a developer come in and have your biggest say. So I don't want to ever really create too much of a clear example of what you should be doing because I want you to be in charge of making a lot of these gameplay decisions yourself. But I thought I'd give you a few more basic concept ideas of cool things you could add that you might want to consider for your own gameplay experiences. One thing that I think is kind of cool is layering a lot of the same type of content close to one another. This idea of having like a, a pathway with the color changer triggers is something that might be able to kind of, if I had a lot of these pathways in a complex maze, walking by changes the colors to help remind me of where I've been already. Or I might be able to have some kind of a system of having multiple things that I need to kind of get into a goal somewhere potentially that I could kind of integrate together in a system. Or maybe you want to consider working with the idea of l having light be a stronger mechanic in your one of your levels or maybe multiple of them. Like in this little basic example here, where the level starts with me not really knowing where to go other than to follow the light. And as I follow it, I suddenly unveil something that, oh, reveals more information to me about where I can go next with some preview lights that are going to give me some hints about more things to come. Now I've repeated this functionality uh, at multiple points in this level to kind of expand it out. I didn't have to create too many new features. I've just kind of layered this unveiling system in different kind of segments of the level to have an experience that takes me through a journey through this dark space. Mine ends here. It's a very basic prototype, but yours can be developed much fuller with maybe height and falling off to lower depths being added in, moving parts and lots of different types of mechanics involved than just the simple layout that I created here. Or maybe you want to make something that's a little bit more like a maze. I made a little prototype here you can explore where I have a simple fast moving player that's able to move through this confined space to try to seek a way out using different trigger systems to be able to uh, help me get to my, little, my final location. So in here I need to be able to try to figure out and infer what these different kind of triggers are going to be able to do for me. So this platform here turns off or back on this wall looks to me like I might need to actually have that wall down. So I'll head back over here and head through the new pathway that's been opened up and try to see what's next. I dead end and here's another thing to step on. So I'm going to make sure I just step on it once. Otherwise I might turn something off and hmm, nowhere to go here. So I need to do some backtracking to see what's changed. And in my mechanic, I've allowed the trigger to spawn another trigger. So a little bit of a sneaky uh, puzzle manipulation there where now touching that one now opens up this main path to lead outwards. So a very short experience, just a very basic prototype idea of not only having triggers remove doors, but also be able to spawn other triggers. And I'm sure you can think of lots of other mechanics that could be at play. For example, something that's spinning and moving too quickly to move through that then you can step on a trigger to slow it down. Or maybe something that allows for you to kind of gain some height or enable a teleporter or, well, your imagination is all that's limiting you in this regard. So take a look in the description of the video or on your course website for the link to the project files for these small examples. But mostly I'm looking for you to be creating your own custom content, both by weaving together the tools I provided you here, as well as adapting them and extending them into some of your own creative ideas. Your submission needs to have at least three levels that are reasonably long experiences. It should take me somewhere around maybe 30 seconds to a minute to complete a level, depending on my skill. And there should be multiple levels with multiple design concepts on display here. Again, have fun with it. Let your imagination guide you and try to innovate some cool ideas that build on top of the skills we learned in this section. Enjoy.